At, uh, turning now to the threat of mass deportation under a possible new Trump administration, a new report out shows hundreds of thousands of Floridians would be kicked out of the country if the plan were actually put into action. Local 10's Laren Livingston is joining us live. He's in Miami now with how immigrant activists are responding to this. Laren. Yes, Christy, those activists as well as the researchers who kind of filed this report earlier this month, they say the impacts, especially here in the state of Florida, could be far reaching and hard hitting and not just economically, but physically, socially and some argue morally. More than 21 million people call Florida home. Just over a million of them, about 5%, are undocumented immigrants. I don't think people understand and I don't think they could stomach it if it actually comes to pass. Tomas Kennedy is with the Florida Immigrant Coalition. One out of 20 Floridians that could be deported under this, you know, in, insane, unhinged uh, campaign plan. Referring to candidate Trump's mass deportation promise, the American Immigration Council, a Washington think tank, ran the numbers. Their report found it cost a conservative $315 billion. Tomas says the human cost would be greater. To have children who are U.S. citizens, that have spouses who are U.S. citizens, that have fully formed careers and also car loans and mortgages. You know, it would be so disruptive. It's inhumane, it's cruel, it's immoral. The researchers say just about every one of the state's crucial economic sectors would feel it too, prompting labor shortages across construction, agriculture, hospitality, which would drive prices higher for everyone. Yeah, but Tomas, Chicago, the what's rematch, most striking like is... The fact that we haven't had a comprehensive immigration reform with a pathway to citizenship since 1986. Tomas is a citizen now. He says he was 10 when he and his parents came to the U.S. from Argentina. Sometime later, their tourist visas expired, meaning they were once undocumented. We've lived over 35 years now without a single pathway to citizenship being granted by Congress uh, to, to the millions of undocumented people that are working in this country. And it's about time that Congress does its job and, and you know, uh, legislates this. Speaking of legislation, this particular research in this study actually points to the state of Florida and specific legislation that was passed here in the state last year targeting undocumented immigrants. And it also points to the fact that many of those immigrants left the state of Florida in the wake of the passage of that legislation. We have a full link to the full study on our website at local10.com. For now, we're live here in Miami. Larry Livingston, Local 10 News.